Moreton Bay, the Kwandamooka country, is a unique biosphere. The region is home to some of the largest sand islands in the world, Moreton Island and North Stradbroke Island. The Kwandamooka country contains a number of unique islands and rocky outcrops with a rich First Nations history. This region supports many users for both recreational and economic activities. Moreton Bay's unique ecosystems include coral reefs, mangrove forests, salt marshes, seagrass meadows, and more. These habitats support a wealth of terrestrial and aquatic organisms, and the open waters around the bay are a migration route for humpback whales and contain a huge population of resident dolphins and other marine mammals. The largest animals to visit Moreton Bay are humpback whales, whose migrations last thousands of kilometres from the Antarctic. Resident marine mammals include pods of dolphins and roving dugongs. The bay also contains enigmatic marine reptiles such as sea turtles. The turtles usually aggregate around cleaning stations, where colourful reef fishes nibble pests off the turtles, carapace and skin. Every winter, large numbers of grey nurse sharks visit several sites around Moreton Bay. These aggregations are a stunning visual reminder of successful marine management and conservation. Although grey nurse sharks look intimidating, they are gentle creatures. Such aggregations provide divers with an exhilarating experience. Other marine organisms, which are rare elsewhere, but can be found frequently in the bay, include guitarfish, leopard sharks, and several unique species of rays. The largest of which are majestic manta rays, which visit cleaning stations around North Stradbroke Island every summer. The coral reefs of Moreton Bay also contain a large diversity of reef and open ocean fishes and are some of the most southern accreting reefs in the world. But over the last few decades, ecosystems around Moreton Bay have suffered from multiple disturbances, such as thermal stress and recurrent mass coral bleaching, resulting in substantial coral mortality. The bay is also adjacent to the Brisbane River, which after major rain events, 
create flood plumes extending well into the bay. Such plumes can smother benthic marine communities and, if severe enough, can also cause coral mortality. Being adjacent to a major city and an urbanised watershed, the bay must also contend with eutrophication, which creates harmful blooms of algae and jellyfishes. In addition, increasing storm severity and frequency may also increase physical damage to the benthic communities of Moreton Bay. In order to better understand how recent and future disturbances have been affecting the bay's communities, and to elucidate fundamental ecological processes to apply to management, we are applying detailed benthic surveys to monitor these ecosystems. Our historical ecology fieldwork methods include coral health assessments, collections of organisms to understand corals genomics and environmental DNA analyses to assess biodiversity, collections of sediment cores to document growth of reefs and intrusion of sediments to the reef, and finally, detailed photogrammetry transects to document temporal changes in benthic communities. Our goal is to quantify the magnitude of change and identify priority actions for managing these ecosystems, which need considerably more management and conservation efforts.